What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about the new Mismatch Expert Badge. With this one here, I'll focus more on how it works, we're not going to talk about sweet spots in here, but trust me, after watching this video, you'll have an idea if your build really needs this badge. And after watching, just check the pinned comment section down below, so if ever I make a stat video or any update on this one here, I'll put it down there. And please let me know as well in the comment section, what do you think about this badge? Is the badge much better now or you still prefer the Mismatch Expert last year? And by the way, if you missed my recent videos, all these will be on the channel. Would be really awesome if you guys can check it out. So now, let's get right into it. So now for the definition, improves the player's ability to beat taller defenders off the dribble in one-on-one -on -one situations when they're switched onto them. This definition here doesn't really tell us much, so I'll just show you guys how it works. So after playing around with the badge, here are the things that I found out. First one, and I think the most important part, your defender should be at least 5 inches taller than you, and it doesn't work against 6'5 and below players. So for example, if you're 6'2, it will work against 6'7 and above, but if you're 6' flat, it's not going to work against 6'5 players. Yeah, that's 5 inches gap, but condition number 2 says it won't work against 6'5 and below. Defender must be at least 6'6. Six, six. Condition number 2 kinda makes sense to be honest. I think what 2K wants to achieve there is that if your defender is short enough like 6'5, even how short the ball handler is, it's not going to be a mismatch because the defender will be fast enough, unlike taller players. So now the question is, what aspects of your dribbling will be boosted? First one, it works together with Clamp Breaker Badge. In there you can see that if the height condition was met, if you make a Clamp Breaker animation, Mismatch Expert Badge will activate together with Clamp Breaker Badge. Same thing with Ankle Breaker, if you met the height requirements, it will activate together with Ankle Breaker Badge. And same thing with Step Back Jumpers, it will activate together with Space Crater Badge. And by the way, there's a small chance that there might be some other small details that the badge can do that I missed, but these three uses here are the most common ones. So basically, the badge is more of a all-around dribbling badge, that it works on a lot of animation-based stuff, but of course, there's a height condition before it can activate. So that's what makes it different to Clamp Breaker, Space Crater, and Ankle Breaker. And by the way, even without those badges, Mismatch Expert can activate alone. For example, even if you don't have Clamp Breaker badge, it can still activate on blow by moves. So it's not like a multiplier of other badges, it's actually an additional boost. So before we proceed, just wanna invite you guys to like the video if liking so far. And if you're new here, I'm Chutes and I do lots of detailed testings on stuff like badges, attributes, jump shots, dribbling styles, and lots of other stuff. And I'm doing YouTube full time, so expect a lot of videos. Last year, I made like around 400 videos. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Trust me, I got you covered for the whole year. So now for the recommendation. I know it depends on your build and playstyle, but safe to say that in terms of importance, those three badges that it can work together, the Clamp Breaker, Space Crater, and Ankle Breaker, are slightly ahead than this one. This one here is more of an accessory badge only that if you have spare points, you can have this badge probably just mid-level. Because you have to keep in mind that yeah, it boosts a lot of stuff, but the condition is kinda strict. 5 inches taller is kinda a small window in terms of rate of activation. And we all know as well that naturally, 5 inches taller defenders will be easier to break down anyway, because chances are high that they have low perimeter defense. But of course, if you really wanna double down on your dribbling against mismatches, it's a great badge. I think it's even fair to have it this way because 2k22 mismatch expert was too OP. It's better for this batch to be a playmaking batch. So again, please let me know in the comment section what I think about this batch. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.